Welcome to our step-by-step -step tutorial on connecting solar panels, charge controller, battery, inverter, ATS switch, LDR sensor, meter, and MCBs. In this guide, we'll walk you through the process of setting up a comprehensive solar power system that includes backup capability and automated control. By following these instructions, you'll be able to harness renewable energy efficiently and enhance your power management capabilities. Let's dive in and create a sustainable energy solution together. Step 1. Connecting two panels in parallel to MCB. Connect the positive terminal of the first solar panel to the positive terminal of the second solar panel using a wire. Similarly, connect the negative terminals of both solar panels together using another wire. This parallel connection doubles the current capacity while maintaining the same voltage, ensuring efficient power generation. Step 2. Connecting MCB to Charge Controller Connect one wire from the output terminal of the parallel connected solar panels to one input terminal of the MCB. Connect another wire from the other input terminal of the MCB to the input terminals of the charge controller. The MCB provides overcurrent protection to the charge controller and other components downstream. Step 3. Connecting charge controller to battery. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the charge controller. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the charge controller. The charge controller regulates the charging of the battery from the solar panels, ensuring optimal battery health and performance. Step 4. Connecting battery to inverter. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the inverter. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the inverter. The inverter converts DC power from the battery into AC power for various applications. Step 5. Earth Connection to Inverter Connect one wire from the earth terminal of the inverter to a reliable grounding point. Ensure a solid connection to prevent electrical hazards and ensure safety. Proper grounding of the inverter is essential to prevent electrical shocks and ensure system stability. Step 6. Connecting inverter to ATS. Connect one wire from the output terminal of the inverter to one input terminal of the ATS switch. Similarly, connect another wire from the other output terminal of the inverter to the other input terminal of the ATS switch. This connection enables the ATS switch to distribute power from the inverter to various circuits. Step 7. Connecting charge controller to LDR sensor. Connect one wire from the output terminal of the charge controller to one terminal of the LDR sensor. Connect another wire from the other terminal of the LDR sensor to the earth terminal of the system. The LDR sensor detects changes in light intensity for automated control of the system. Step 8. Connecting Meter to MCB
Connect one wire from the output terminal of the meter to one input terminal of the MCB. Connect another wire from the other input terminal of the MCB to one input terminal of the META. The meter measures electricity consumption for monitoring and billing purposes. Step 9. Connecting MCB to ATS Switch Connect one wire from the output terminal of the MCB to one input terminal of the ATS switch. Similarly, connect another wire from the other output terminal of the MCB to the other input terminal of the ATS switch. This connection enables the ATS switch to receive power from the MCB, facilitating the distribution of electricity to various circuits. Step 10. Connecting ATS to other MCBs. Connect one wire from the output terminal of the ATS switch to one input terminal of each of the three additional MCBs. Ensure proper labeling and organization of the wiring to facilitate maintenance and troubleshooting. The ATS switch distributes power from the main grid or backup source to different circuits through the MCBs, providing selective control and protection. By following these steps, you have successfully connected the solar panels, charge controller, battery, inverter, ATS switch, LDR sensor, meter, and MCBs to create a comprehensive solar power system with backup capability and automated control. Ensure all connections are secure and follow safety guidelines during installation and operation. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and updates on renewable energy solutions.